If you make movies quite a bit, Handbrake is a great utility that you may find useful. Basically what Handbrake does is it takes a DVD and uh, rips it to a format you can play on your computer or edit using iMovie. Um, also you can use Handbrake to convert to different file formats. Uh, you can take a uh, .mov file and convert it to an mp4 um, or uh, convert a file to a, a uh, video file to a size that will play nicely on your iPod. So what I'm going to do first here is I have a DVD inserted into my drive. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to rip a DVD to your hard drive. So I'm gonna, the DVD is on my uh, mounted on my hard drive here, or mounted on my desktop, I should say. I'm going to go ahead and open up Handbrake. And what it looks like is this little pineapple with a, a drink glass next to it. And I'm going to go ahead... I don't want to check for updates right now. You may want to later on. Um, okay, so what uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and choose my DVD. So there's my DVD over my left-hand side finder menu. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit open. Handbrake's going to go ahead and scan that DVD for any possible titles or chapters that I can convert to a a file format for my computer. So what I see up here is Title One, one hour and 52 minutes and 24 seconds. There's different chapters, so if there's multiple chapters on, on the DVD or titles on the DVD, you can go ahead and choose those by clicking the options here. So uh, destination, that basically tells you where the file is going to be saved. You hit browse. Right now it's going to save it as the name of the DVD on the desktop. So I can change it to whatever I want. Um, and hit save and that way it gives me a different path for my destination for whatever my output might be. Output settings, uh, format is mp4 by default um, that's just fine. MKV, I haven't used that a whole lot, but MP4 will edit very easily using iMovie. Um, I can also check these boxes here. If you move your mouse over the top it gives you some screen tips on what those actually mean. Um, I would suggest to stay, if you're planning on just editing the footage on your computer, stay with all the defaults. Down here, there's customizable video uh, bit rates and target sizes and that sort of thing. Um, that's a little bit more advanced. Uh, the presets over here in this top right hand corner basically covers all of this information at the bottom. If I click on toggle presets, you should see like a little sliding menu that pops out the side. Right now it's selected for normal profile. There's also Apple profiles for the iPod, iPhone, uh, iPod Touch, that sort of thing. So if I click through these here, you'll see if you watch this window down here that a lot of the options will change. But for these purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and hit normal. So uh, now, uh, for the most part, I'm ready to go. Um, all I've done is uh, select my chapter or my title, uh, added a a path on where to save the file and the format. So I basically kept everything default except for changing the file name and selecting my title. Um, it, the, the title that's selected will be the longest one by default on the DVD. Picture settings that also allows you to change uh, the the resolution or the picture size. Uh, preview window will show you a, a preview of what it's going to look like. Activity window and uh, that, that basically kind of shows you the code of what it's doing behind the scenes. So uh, all I need to do now is hit start and it's going to read my DVD and if you look closely down here at the bottom it says the queue is scanning and now it says encoding pass one of one. So uh, now when it is finished I will have a file on my desktop called trialrip.mp4. I can import that in iMovie and go ahead and edit. So uh, that's Handbrake in a nutshell.